Welcome to the resonance in an air tube video. In exercise one, we'll be measuring the resonant frequencies and positions of nodes and antinodes in an open tube. To set up for this experiment, first you'll need to connect the function generator using the supplied adapter. Make sure not to attach it to the trigger output, and connect the other end of the banana cables to the speaker. Next, we'll need to connect the microphone through the supplied adapter cable into channel one of the oscilloscope. Make sure to turn on the microphone. On the function generator, begin at a low frequency. Increase the amplitude to about 7 volts. Press on to enable the output. When the oscilloscope starts, you'll need to press any key to get into the main interface. The signal may be off scale to start, so use the vertical scale to pull it down, and also adjust the horizontal scale so that you can see several copies of the wave. If your signal doesn't appear as still as the one on screen, check the trigger menu and make sure that it's set to trigger off of channel 1. If it's set to trigger off anything else, the signal will appear to move horizontally. Use the arrow keys to control a smaller increment of the output frequency. In this case, we'll use the ones digit. Next, use the knob to scroll through a wide range of frequencies. As you adjust the frequency, you'll see that the amplitude of the signal will increase. You may need to adjust the vertical scale on the oscilloscope as you do this. As you increase the frequency, at some point you'll see the output signal amplitude drop. That indicates that you found a local maxima. Record the frequency at this value, and then continue on to the next one. After recording the resonant frequencies, record the positions of the maxima and minima. As you can see, the amplitude of the wave changes as you slide the microphone down the tube. Because the microphone doesn't reach all the way to the end of the tube, you may need to put the microphone in the other end of the tube as well to fully record the maxima and minima positions. In exercise two, we'll be repeating the process of finding resonant frequencies and positions of nodes and antinodes for a closed tube. Now close the tube and repeat the process of measuring the resonant frequencies and the positions of the maxima and minima. In exercise three, we'll be finding the two blanks that create resonance at a given frequency. Pick a frequency and slowly move the piston along the tube. Record the resonance positions. Thanks for watching the Soundwaves in a Resonance Tube Experiment. We hope the sounds of your enjoyment resonate throughout the lab.